know the victim fell from a nearby building, there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Uh, two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. What? what happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk him warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. According to the police report, the victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him? And why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it?
This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it, assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred. Sir? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we are. Mm. Uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. Justice, you killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Alfred, let GCPD know that Chucky e. Burks has been apprehended for the murder of Owen Grant. Send them my current location along with the case file details. At once, sir. Fire damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The 
killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. Hmm. There's no way he could reach that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this. Answers. Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. <laughs> Dispatch, this is Officer Meyer. We got a hit and run just outside the precinct. Looks like it might be one of our own. Your request has been logged. All available homicide units are out on call. First one back is yours. Outside GCPD. This was no accident. The victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by Internal Affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car and cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name John DeMarco time to pay him a visit Got tapes or something. Some kind of written. 
written confession. This is bad. I searched this place after I took him out. It was clean. He could have stashed off somewhere. And if he did, it's not like he can tell anyone where it is. We just gotta keep our heads down and our mouths shut. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick. But the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor! You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges. But now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. claim they have no leads, but there has to be something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. The prints belong to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am.
I take a feast for myself! <laughs> Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. Alfred, let the GCPD know that Andrew Carter's been apprehended in connection with the amusement mile murder. They can pick him up at my location. Well done, sir. That's one less troublemaker for Gotham to worry about. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. Construction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. Those prints. I know who did this. Alfred, I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horus, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well.
think you're doing? Do, do you know who I am? I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I, I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious... Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. <sighs> what, what the hell's wrong with you? Alfred, let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm?